Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Now today I wanted to show you a quick lesson on sacrificing some material in order to get some attack, some initiative. Now in this position here, um, black is a pawn up. Uh, if you count the pawns, he has 8 pawns, while we have only 7 pawns. But this doesn't necessarily mean that we are worse. Because as you can see here, we have uh, quite some compensation. We have already castled, he hasn't, and you can see these pieces here are just not developed. And I'm ready to start some action now. So that's why here uh, I just played d3. Just trying to break these pawns here in the center and just get my rook into the game, you know, to develop some kind of initiative, some kind of attack. So here uh, he basically uh, played b4. Now, first of all, if he doesn't do anything, let's say, uh, if he castles, of course, uh, we can just take this pawn here, and now if he recaptures, he has really bad pawns here. Isolated uh, pawns, and we can probably play something like knight e5, targeting this pawn, and he's still going to be left with uh, this weakness here. So that's why he played b4 here, just attacking our rook, but we ignore all of this, and we just play a5, attacking the queen. Now, he can take our rook, because we're going to take his queen. So that's why he moved his queen to b5, and now we just took on c4, again, attacking the queen. Now he has to do something, he has to of course recapture the pawn, and now I played knight to e5, still leaving our rook here unprotected, uh, you know, I mean attacked, it, it is protected, but it is also attacked. We're creating a higher threat in this position, which is just attacking the queen. So that's why he has to move the, key, the queen now uh, to b5, and I'll just rook to d3, activating our rook, threatening to come here and to just, you know, checkmate the opponent's king. And if he takes our knight here on e5, well, we can just play this. And now we don't have a checkmate here. Don't play this. Don't lose your queen. Uh, of course, we can just take the rook here on h8. And we have just won an exchange. So that's why he can't do that. And he quickly ran away with castling. And now this is the crucial position for you to understand. These pawns don't mean anything here. Because activity is important in this position and also the development. As you can see, like I said, this, these pieces aren't doing anything. This bishop is totally blocked, this knight is not doing anything, the rook is in the corner. We have our pieces here ready to infiltrate into his position. So that's why here in this position, even though our knight is attacked, I didn't move the knight, I just played rook to d8. Now this is a really interesting move. Uh, because obviously he can't take the rook, uh, because after we recapture, he's going to get checkmate here on the last rank. So that's why um, he just took the knight on e5. And what was my idea? Uh, it seems like we have just lost the knight, but because of his bad development, because you know this rook is not protecting uh, his first rank, and this knight is uh, kind of in the way here, that's why we can just take here on f8 and infiltrate with our queen. See, if this knight was developed somewhere, this wouldn't be possible because the rook would be, uh, you know, attacking the square. But now it is. Uh, the only move here is to basically protect uh, the check with the knight, knight e8. And now the whole idea is to play bishop to f4 and join this bishop into the attack here of the opponent's king. Because imagine, if this queen moves, I don't know, somewhere else, then we can just play bishop to d6 check and the knight can't take it because of the pin. And this is just going to be checkmate. So it's really interesting how black gets punished here for, you know, grabbing an extra pawn, but not developing his pieces. Uh, so this is uh, really awesome. Uh, that's why here after bishop to f4, he played uh, queen to f6, just attacking my queen. But this basically doesn't change anything. We can still play bishop to d6, and after he moves, we just give him a checkmate. So the concept here of giving away material, let's say, giving away a pawn, just to quickly develop your pieces, and get into some action while the opponent's pieces are passive is a really important idea to understand and to use in your own games. So guys, if you like this video, please watch more, subscribe to my channel, and yeah, that's gonna be it for today. I'll see you guys in the next video.